Coming here from the Inman Theater, the greatest theater in the world. It's the Inman Show, so I'm Inman Slimer. I'm L. Inmore. And tonight, Monkey Doo 22. And maybe tonight, Geek Slater. Featuring me, L. Inmore, in the one man band. Wait, what's the clock that? Oh my gosh, I gotta get inside. Anyway, come on with me. Have a seat. And it is time to start the show. And now, is it a bug? Is it a plane? Is it a guy who makes a lot of money? No, it's the one and only. And man, slime more. Alright, thank you all for coming out. Also, I got some bad news about the Deke Slayer interview. We did film the interview. Basically, we messed things up. Deke, if you're watching this, don't worry. We still have you on the, the waiting list. But tonight, it's all because of tonight's guest, Monkey Do 22. And yeah, as you see, we have a brand new desk. Brand new chair and a brand new. Oh wait, what? LN Mar. Oh wait, he's backstage. I was talking to him in his dressing room, but hey, uh, as you see behind me, this is my new monologue space. Usually I stand here and I come out behind one side of the theater, but we. You thought we come out from the side, but we actually come. We approach this side and make this the entrance. We have for our guests. That's how we did the show. So yeah, we have an exciting show for you tonight. Monkey Dude Twenty Two's here, and maybe Dick Slayer. So yep, yeah, don't go away and don't slip away. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. If you wonder where the cameraman is, basically he's across the street of the Luxuries in Man Theater, which you saw the intro of the show is. And here we go as we walk through this. Street, yeah. Remember the next time if we have a new host, maybe walk to look both ways. You see, we have a ticket booth, which the thing is up there. We're gonna get to that in just a sec. But we're going through backstage really quick. But as we see here, no guests so far. They're currently upstairs, and yeah. This is where the dressing rooms are so far. We're actually thinking of building dressing rooms upstairs in the new version. This is the air room where we are going to be having our guests and me have in here. And we have securities to uh, hit you with a, a diamond sword. If you are in survival. And these are the staircase that uh, would take you up to the theater. And ooh, before we see the stage itself, which you can get to see every episode, and these are our control booth, which L. N. Moore speaks through a microphone up here. Yeah, let's sit down through this staircase. These are the doors that you're about to see the end man show stage. So yeah, three, two, one. Here we go. And oh my goodness, oh my goodness, this is the massive end man stage ever for the end man show. Here we got a drum cage, which we always saw at the end. This is my entrance side when I came out from, which you saw the airlock earlier. This is the seating area, just like at the different than the top row. Oh yeah, true fact, I had these carp yellow carpet just for fun and also I had these three rows just like a real theater does now by my desk this is made entirely out of oak wood brown oak wood this is the standard oak wood seat 
that I used be never use. These curtains are made out of wool, wool, green, lime green, and blue wool. Oh, a late night talk show goes. So yeah, stay tuned. Coming up next, we got Monkey Dude Twenty Two. So yeah, don't. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. My first guest, he's a YouTuber with over thirteen thousand subscribers, and he has a Nick Studio of his own. Please give a warm welcome to Mr. Monkey Dude. 22 Come have a seat on at the seat And And monkey welcome to the show. How are you doing? I'm doing really well. Thanks for having me. Thanks Now really quick. I know you have a Nickelodeon Studios And tell me how did you start the Nick Studio? Yeah, so we had a Nickelodeon Studios build uh, for about almost three years now, and it really kind of started one evening, or one night rather, where I really just couldn't sleep, and, you know, what are some of the things that you do to try to fall asleep? Well, some people, maybe they'll drink some tea to fall asleep, maybe they'll take a walk. For me, I usually will, like, try to play, like, a video game of some kind that kind of relaxes me. At the time, I was playing a lot of Minecraft, and I was like... Okay, I'll just play Minecraft for a little bit, and uh, I forget where it all started from, but I, I just remember was talking with one of my coworkers about Nickelodeon Studios in the 90s and how I'd been there and how I got slimed and all that kind of stuff, and I just for some reason thought it would be kind of fun to try to create a Nickelodeon Studios facade. So I probably spent about an hour and a half, two hours just making this facade. It didn't look very realistic at all, but I mean, it, it looked kind of cool for what it was. Uh, back then, I was doing it all from memory. I didn't have any reference photos or anything like that, so uh, that's kind of where it started, and that was about three years ago. And then, you know, fast forward to today, it's like this completely realistic build with like all the interiors, everything from the, uh, the GAC kitchen all the way to the auditions and the, uh, the game lab, all sorts of different fun stuff that's actually inside of it now. So it's, it's kind of funny that it starts from the... Uh, the one night where I just couldn't sleep, and uh, now it's all this. And true fact, the uh, audition was actually called. It's actually the game lab. If you didn't go to the grand opening, so yeah, I heard you had some people help you in 2017. Is that right? Quite a few people that have helped uh, throughout the years. Uh, Mr. Naaman at 338. He's uh, he was pretty much the original person who helped me with the, the build of the studios back when it was just kind of that 1.0 facade. And that was before it even became a realm or a world at that point. Um, so he was kind of the first person that was there. But then as we transitioned over to a realm, you know, you found people like uh, Toru, Slushy, Keba. Uh, you found, oh man, it, like so many people. Then, of course, you came along. Yeah. Um, and then you came along, and then we had uh, Cobalt, and Kelly, and Eastwood, and uh, Wills, and just yeah, everybody. Haslam, like, everybody started to contribute uh, throughout the years. But, yeah, it really just started with me and Mr. Newman. We just kind of, like, worked on it a little bit. He came up with this mall, or not the mall, but, like, a movie theater that he wanted to add. Um, he wanted to host Double Dare, so we kind of worked on that a little bit. It never really came to fruition. Um, in that day, but uh, later on with the uh, the Nick world and now the Splat world, that's uh, kind of where you started to see that kind of fun stuff. So a lot of help throughout the years. There's so many different names. I know I'm not naming everybody because I would be here forever, uh, but there's so many different people that helped out. Yeah. Now, before you say a realm, now, this is part of the same question. How did you start the Nick studio as a world before the realm was created? Uh, so really what happened was, is we had the world, which was just like the offline thing. Realms wasn't even a thing for Bedrock back then. Bedrock wasn't even a thing yet. You just had like the, the Minecraft Xbox 360, Xbox One edition, uh, you know, PlayStation 3 edition, that kind of thing. You didn't even really have realms at that point unless you were on Java. So really all it was is me and Mr. Newman were just kind of just working on that one single world for a little bit until I knew because like, one of the things that I, I do is like I work at Microsoft, so I had some advanced knowledge that there was going to be a unified version of Minecraft, aka the Bedrock version, 
that would be cross-platform people from all different platforms could play on it. You would have realms. You would have all sorts of kind of ways to connect the community. And so when I knew that was going to happen, I decided to put the world on hold. Me and the community said, okay, we're not going to float on this anymore. We're going to leave it as is. And as soon as the new version comes out, which is probably about another four or five months at that point, uh, we said that we were going to rebuild it from the ground up. We were going to remake the studios from the ground up. We were going to make guts from the ground up. Double Dare, all that different kind of stuff. We were just going to totally reinvent ourselves. And then we were going to be able to kind of share it with the world and allow people to come and join us. So uh, that's really the origins of the world. And we started it, it was on Father's Day, uh, 2017. Uh, so it's been quite a while. It's been uh, quite a while since we started it. And yeah, true fact, I came around August 11, 2018. And yeah. Did you? Yeah, you came in pretty much right after we started. Uh, you and uh, Toru and Slushy and a lot of them. Yeah, a lot of a lot of folks came like in, within the first couple of months. Yeah. Also, what year did you enter Nickelodeon Studio when you were a kid? Everybody needs to know. Um. So I don't quite remember the exact year. I know I've gone three different times when it was actually operational. The first time being in the early nineties. I want to say it was like 1992, 91 or 92. So it would have been the time frame when they were taking Clarissa Explains It All. That was the first time that I went because I remember they were filming a live episode when I was going through the viewing tube, like the whole tour path where you can look down on the sound stages. I remember that being the first thing that I saw. And then the second time was when I went back out because I was actually uh, going to appear on an episode of Nickelodeon Guts before they canceled it. Um, even though they canceled it, we still took our vacation and we still went anyway. And that was actually the trip where I went and I got slimed. That was at the game lab. Um, and then we went back a third time uh, for no special reason. We just happened to have um, uh, our, our grandparents that live in the in the area. Well, kind of close to the area. They're from further south. But uh, we basically went to go visit them. And then we spent a day at Disney World and also Universal Studios. And uh, so we, we went and we saw the studios of course we went on the tour because of course i was obsessed with Nickelodeon back at that point and um for that particular one nothing really off the wall happened i got to test uh the gag from the gag kitchen i did get to do that and then my sister and i think it was my dad my sister my dad or my sister my mom they were able to play the, the uh, it wasn't like the pie in the pants it was like the chicken they throw the flying chicken across the room and you have to catch it in the pants that was like the double dare thing that they did at the game lab back then so uh, they did do that, but um, that would be my three experiences of going to see the Nickelodeon Studios uh, while it was still in operation. This was before they changed the paint job to like the green and orange one. This was back when it was blue and orange and had like the zebra patterns and stuff like that. Yeah. And okay, Monkey, thanks for stopping by, but uh, do you have any people you want to shout out for? Well, I, first off, I mean, there's so many different people that, that I can shout out. I want to shout out everybody who. Uh, obviously, worked with the, the world, the realm, from its conception to today. Um, today, we're actually going to be starting a brand new survival world, which is really cool. We're going to start that in about an hour, so that should be a lot of fun. Uh, the Splat World's going to be coming back. Um, I believe you're going to be coming over, and you're going to be creating some, some studios and some fun stuff to happen. We've got a whole new uh, Universal Studios build we're going to be making. We're going to be making some Sky Wars. We're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff stuff coming up in the future so and, and all of that kind of stuff just stems from the people that you know you want to give a shout out to so you yourself and man you know give a shout out to the people that kind of helped you out to start it, things up so that'd be like mr noon toru you know you gotta throw kelly cobalt eastwood in there wills you know everybody everybody who's ever contributed to the world it just it wouldn't be what it is without everybody and so you know i'm always going to be grateful for that yeah well thanks for stopping by monkey and yeah Coming up next, we have 10 Facts to Know, and followed by Deke Slayer. So yeah, don't go away, everybody. Hold that finger and hold that mouth. So be, we'll be right back with more of the in Man Show. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Nope, we still don't have Deke on the show, but in the meantime, we're waiting for him. We're doing a new series that we like to call Breaking News and Announcements. Now about... What we do is, I basically read through some facts 
that are real and not fake. And also, we're doing two things during this show. We're doing 10 facts to know and breaking news. So the first thing I want to talk about is YouTube Life in a Day. It's a document movie coming out at the festival and coming to YouTube. Well, you didn't know that I'm in it. And make sure that I am going to be at the 2021 Sansom Filming Festival. If you have tickets to the festival, come out. I am going to be there. Get to meet me and ask me tons of questions. Yay! So, yeah. Alex Trebek, the host of Jeffy. He still have cancer. Pray for him, guys. I'm so that he can get back to 100%. Alright, on to enough with that. Let's get on with 10 facts to know. So, yeah. This is the only. Facts show that I tell you about. Or never mind about that. We're skipping ten facts to know because we don't have enough time. Because we're on low budget. And yeah, my my desk it it only cost me ten bucks to buy this desk. That chair, envy chair that I'm having, it only cost me fifteen bucks. The band, they only wear, they only eat their sandwiches after commercial. And the scene, even we keep a take our money, high on money from this guy that sells from our landlord. Besides, he doesn't own this theater. I own it. Alright, so yeah. Uh, oh wait, we have one hour time for the show. Yep, thank you so much for watching tonight's show, folks. <sighs> Man, we finally got through the whole show. Through almost half an hour. That's what I want. So yeah, I want to thank you guys for almost lie down and lay to bed before the show ends. So yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. Yep. And I will see you guys probably to next episode. Thanks to the band who made this happen. Thanks to Monkey Do 22. Deke, don't worry. You'll be booked on the next episode. I'm begging you. If we don't, this will be a problem. So yeah. Listen with the theme song, guys. Haha. -ha.